Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we're going to be talking about the Vindicator prototype model by Ernest Emerson. And when we are talking about a prototype, we're talking about a knife that was hand ground by Ernest Emerson and it was, you know, it's pretty unique, right? Usually you have only two, three, four prototypes on one model, FYI, and sometimes just, just one. Okay, and these are the G10 handles of the production model that you will get with the Vindicator. Now, when we talk about the Vindicator, let me say this is a model that was launched five years ago as an exclusive to a specific uh, retailer, um, Blue Ridge Knives, I think is the name. And they were like the premier uh, dealer for this specific model and then I don't know, two years ago or something like that, it got open and you can find this model in Blade HQ and other, uh, uh, you know, and other retailers. Um, and I should say, the prototype show up as an opportunity for me to get it. Uh, I was not aware of the Vindicator model and it's definitely one of those nice surprises when I got it. It's an excellent knife in my opinion. And if you are not a fan of Tantos, the Vindicator is a great, great, great knife, okay? Let me compare with the CQC7B right here. So you can see the size of it. The Vindicator has a 3.75 inch blade and overall, okay, the overall length is 8.75 inches, okay? And that's, that's in that sweet spot that I love, okay? That size I love. Let me show you with the Tenacious, like we always do, right? On Spyderco. The Tenacious, and, you know, it's bigger than the Tenacious. And let's compare with the Buck 110. And I have some other knives that I want to compare with also, okay? The Buck 110, that is a big knife, you know? That's how it compares. Now, the Vindicator is that sweet spot and sometimes people say that it, it feels a lot like the Patriot. And this is the Patriot. I made a video recently, an FAQ video, about the comparing these two models with, you know, how they compare and details on it. And for me, yes, there's a comparison there. You can see they're both pretty similar. There's a comparison there. And, and mostly that handle is very, very similar. It's not the same, but at the end of the day, the Patriot is a big knife, okay? The Patriot is in the four inches blade, and you know, it's a bigger knife than the Vindicator, okay? So be aware of that, and go and watch that FAQ video regarding the comparison of these two models. And what I will say is that if you like, if you like the Commander, okay, and this is a custom Commander, if you like the Commander recurve, but if it's a little bit too much of a recurve for you, and you want something a little bit more subtle, let me tell you, the Vindicator, is, blade-wise, is very similar to the CQC15 without the Tanto, okay? For me, that's the model that it resembles the most in terms of blade size and, and you know, and that, that look and the thickness of the width of that blade and all that. I think it's basically a CQC15 with without the tanto right that the cqc15 has and then that handle is more into the utilitarian handle like the patriot okay it's smaller than the patriot and it has a blade similar to the cqc15 without the tanto and i think i think that's a great package and a great surprise when i got my hands on this model okay ergonomics are excellent okay you have that finger guard there and then you have this belly here that fills your palm perfectly let's look at that blade like i mentioned it has that subtle recurve like the 15 but without the tanto it just continues with that recurve you have that switch right there this is a prototype though so this is a hand ground model by ernest emerson right but it will be very similar to the to the production one. You have that chisel edge that I love, and this is a V ground 
knife, meaning it's ground in both sides. And I love that finish that Ernest does in his custom or prototypes, okay? I have an oversized thumb stud from Kales Customs. Um, and then, you know, you have your normal wave that works great. And you have your basic Emerson uh, construction that he has in all his uh, production models. And I love that. Very simple. You can disassemble this with any type of tools. And it's really, really simple to clean up, put back together and move there, right? So let's look at that. You have that finger guard and then it just tapered, you know, just continue with that belly here that feels great in the hand. When you hold this, it's just melt right there like most Emerson's, okay? And there's the bag with that normal pocket clip. When you close that model, you know, very, very nice. I love the profile of the Vindicator. And again, it's definitely a surprise, super smooth. Ah, I love it. You can engage it left-handed if you need to, no problem. Okay, and right-handed, of course, and through the wave. You know, it's definitely, it's definitely a great, great overall knife. And like we were talking about, it's a 3.75 inch blade. So, you know, very similar to a Commander full size. If you like the Commander recurve, this is less Less of a recurve, but still that great, great blade and size on it. Now let's see how it writes in the pockets, okay? Because it's the same handles as the production one. And it writes excellent, okay? Excellent. I love how the Vindicator writes in the pockets. One of my favorite big knife, you know, big primary knives is how this Vindicator right? How, how the CQC-15 or the Commander writes, right? Great, and like we always do, if you're looking for that deep pocket carry, that is not my preference, but it's available. You know, you can get second market uh, choices for it. It right like that, very, very deep, okay? Very, very deep. And again, the Vindicator is probably one of the most underrated designs i was not even aware of it until last year when this opportunity showed up for me to own this and it's a great great recurve plate and knife ergonomics are excellent and you know if you're looking for something like the cqc 15 without that tanto hey the vindicator is an excellent choice okay and if you're looking for something bigger than 3.75 inches then we're talking in the Patriot uh, realm, okay? So, and that's it, guys. If you have any question, contact me through Instagram, YouTube, and the Facebook photos. We're always there talking knives. You guys have a great night, great day. Have a good one. Bye.